my name is Julie and today I want to show you all the books I read in February. February was a really good reading month in terms of what I read this month. And I read in total five books, three other books, one regular and one graphic novel. And I gave all the books between four and five stars. The first book I read was When Dimple Meet Rashi. And this book is one of those big hypes from 2017. It's a dual perspective book about Indian American Dimple, who has big dreams about working with technology and app development and things like that. While her parents is quite old fashioned and just think like college is a good idea because there you can meet a husband. But one day her parents surprise her by letting her go to a summer camp for technology students. When she gets there, she finds out that the only reason her parents let her go on this summer course was so she could meet Rashi. Rashi is the other perspective in this book and he actually likes this idea of uh, planned marriage and her parents and Rashi's parents have big plans that they are getting married. She doesn't know this but Rashi just, hey wifey, <laughs> this planned marriage is not in Dimple's plan and uh, this ruins her whole summer. But then they get actually get good friends and things evolve from there. I think this book was really cute and I really loved Dimple's mindset and found it quite relatable. The book has a little like insta love but it's not low at first sight. So I gave this book 4.75 stars. The next book I read was Tainana. She is a Norwegian comic artist. I have been following her for years. She is really fun. She's writing about her life things happening to her, uh, her job as a nurse, her relationship with Justin, and I was on the release party of this book, so it's not only signed, but it's a drawing in it as well. So I gave this one 5 stars. Right now she's traveling, I don't know where, but she's traveling around the world and she puts out English comics on her Instagram, so I'm gonna leave that down below if you want to check it out. The next book I read was Wonder Woman by Lee Bardugo. This has nothing to do with the movie, but it was still really good. It's following Diana, or Wonder Woman, and she wants to prove herself for the other Amazons. Since she is not born by war like the other one, she's not seen as an equal worthy Amazon warrior. When she finally has the opportunity to prove herself in a race, she hears someone screaming and see a shipwreck the outside of the border. It's against the rules of the island to save a mortal, but she do this anyway and rescue Alia. She hides her in a cave and go back to the other Amazons, so she can find out what to do next. When she's there, strange things starting to happen on the island that's never happened before and is not supposed to happen. And she finds out that Alia is a war bringer without knowing this herself, which means as long as she's alive, war is gonna happen in the rest of the world. This leads Alia and Diana on, a, on an epic journey to try to save the world and prevent a third world war. I think this book was really good and I really enjoyed the friendship part of it. And it's, when I think about it, it's reminding me a lot about Passenger. So I gave this one five stars. The next book I read was Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This book has definitely my favorite love story for a long time. It's so cute and it's placed in 17th century something. It's literally what it says in the book and the audiobook. It's about Monty. He loves drinking and gaming and girls and boys and gambling and partying and everything. As the last hooray before his father expected him in to start taking over the family estate, he goes on a grand tour through Europe together with his best friend Percy and his sister Felicity. Monty is bisexual and he is mad in love with Percy, his best friend. And we follow them through this journey, which not going as they had planned. And I gave this five stars, it was a lot of fun, it was, had so amazing romance and oh, I love this book. The last book I finished yesterday on 1st of March and it's All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. This book is following Finch who is obsessed about death and Violet who was in a car crash almost a year ago and lost her sister and now dealing with depression as a result of this. They meet on the top of the school bell tower on the first day of school after Christmas, both thinking about jumping. And the story evolved from there when they both decide to go down and ending up teaming up on a school project. I had really mixed feelings about this book. For the first off, I think it 
was really slow in the start and I think that's some of the reason why I started it and put it down and read two audiobooks in the meantime. On the other hand, I had so many emotions when this bond actually started to pick up. I was so sad and happy and angry and heartbroken and so everything. But when I came to the part where they start discussing bipolar disorder, the only thing I can think about is, is this actually a good representation? Because I have, I think, at least three friends with it. I also come across a review which was saying that the problem is that this, the characters become their illness, then bipolar, suicidal and depression. I couldn't agree more and I feel like that's the biggest problem with representations in books that the characters become their illness or sexuality or color for example it's not a character trait it's the whole character and in the real life that's not things that makes a whole person even though it's the, like the biggest topic of the book people's color or illness or sexuality shouldn't be the whole character and they say like oh this character is gay then it's nothing more interesting about him. I think like a characters, for example, sexuality or illness or it's of course something that's making up something about who they are, but it should be as big as, as, big as part of the character as, for example, their hair color. And um, yeah, I think that's a big problem with representation in, in general. Regardless, I had so many emotions, both good and bad, on this book. And I tried to see like a difference between representation and the story itself. So I gave this one four stars. So that was all the books I read in February. So if you liked this one, please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.